in three, two, one. Proof of the Schwartz inequality. In our present proof, when we refer to the term norm, we mean the Euclidean norm. Observe that for any real values alpha and beta, zero is less or equal to the square of the norm of alpha x hat plus beta y hat, which equals the dot product of alpha x hat plus beta y hat with itself, which by expanding, equals, alpha squared times the norm of x hat squared, plus, twice alpha beta multiplied by the dot product of x hat and y hat, plus, beta squared times the norm of y hat squared. Similarly, zero is less or equal to the square of the norm of alpha x hat, minus, beta y hat, which equals, the dot product of alpha x hat, minus, beta y hat with itself, which, by expanding, equals, alpha squared times the norm of x hat squared, minus, twice alpha beta multiplied by the dot product of x hat and y hat, plus, beta squared times the norm of y hat squared. Letting alpha equal the norm of y hat, and, beta equal the norm of x hat, we obtain, zero, is less or equal to, the norm of y hat squared, times, the norm of x hat squared, plus, twice the norm of y hat, times, the norm of x hat multiplied by the dot product of x hat and y hat, plus, the norm of x hat squared times the norm of y hat squared. This in turn equals, twice the norm of y hat squared, times, the norm of x hat squared, plus, twice the norm of y hat, times, the norm of x hat multiplied by the dot product of x hat and y hat. Also, zero is less or equal to the norm of y hat squared times the norm of x hat squared, minus, twice the norm of y hat times norm of x hat multiplied by the dot product of x hat and y hat, plus, norm of x hat squared times the norm of y hat squared, which equals, twice the norm of y hat squared, times, the norm of x hat squared, minus, twice the norm of y hat, times, the norm of x hat multiplied by the dot product of x hat and y hat. In summary, we have the two inequalities, zero, is less or equal to, twice the norm of y hat squared, times, the norm of x hat squared, plus, twice the norm of y hat, times, the norm of x hat multiplied by the dot product of x hat and y hat. And, zero is less or equal to, twice the norm of y hat squared, times, the norm of x hat squared, minus, twice the norm of y hat, times, the norm of x hat multiplied by the dot product of x hat and y hat. Proceeding to isolate x hat dot y hat in each of these inequalities, we get that, the dot product of x hat and y hat, is greater or equal to, the negative of the norm of y hat, times, the norm of x hat. Also, the dot product of x hat and y hat, is less or equal to, the norm of y hat, times, the norm of x hat. From the latter inequalities, we get the compound inequality, the negative of the norm of y hat, times, the norm of x hat, is less than or equal to, x hat dot y hat, which in turn is less or equal to, the norm of y hat, times, the norm of x hat, which is equivalent to the absolute value inequality, the absolute value of, x hat dot y hat, is less or equal to the norm of y hat, times, the norm of x hat. Our proof is complete. The trial version of the text-to-speech software Natural Reader was used in the creation of this video. The open source software Open Broadcaster software was used in the creation of this video. 
Copyright by Mickey Man Cooler. All rights are reserved.